Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another episode of the Miami Dolphins Madden 18 Connected Franchise Series. And I just, <laughs> yeah, I just realized I'm probably a floating head right now. Yep, that's my bad. Uh, I apologize, but now I should no longer be a floating head. Let's jump into the Miami Dolphins episode. Hopefully, guys are excited. The series is back. If you are, make sure to drop a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes once again for the series. We smash 2,000 likes in every single episode. Let's keep it up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on the notification bell if you haven't. We're getting so close to 170,000 subscribers. So let's see if we can make it happen tonight or maybe tomorrow. So, so if you're new, let me know your trade suggestions in the comment section below if they are not featured in today's episode from the last episode. Anyways, let's jump into the episode. As you probably can tell, we're at a little bit different of a point than we were at the end of last episode. So what I was going to do was play all four games in today's episode. But like you guys don't care. Like you guys don't care about preseason. So what we did is we simmed the first three preseason games. We're going to make our final trades before the regular season and then play this last regular season or last preseason game until they take our starters out. So we don't drag on the preseason way too long. We have two episodes of the preseason. Then next episode, we can finally jump into the regular season when the games actually count. So it should be a pretty, probably a pretty quick episode today. Before we jump into the game, we do have some pretty big trades that we are going to try to complete to make the team even better. Before we do jump into the trades, I do, I guess, I can guess I can show you how we've done so far in the preseason. Like I said, boys, this is proof that we don't have a good team. We've lost two out of our first three preseason games. Hopefully, we can beat the Seahawks and hopefully avoid injuries. We did beat the Steelers, though, but once again, it is the preseason but hopefully we do have to cut nine players too that's a reason why i wanted to do another instead of like just jumping straight into the regular season we i wanted to do one last episode before the preseason was over because i don't want to waste some of these players that like i could trade away for like draft picks or anything so if worse comes to worse we don't trade away nine players in the couple deals we're gonna try at the beginning of the episode we'll trade some players away for draft picks so we can have as many trade assets as possible going into the regular season before like we have to actually make the final roster cut so with that said Let's jump into trade suggestion number one. It was a pretty big and highly suggested player. With 326 thumbs up, Marcin Papiel says to go and get Shaquem Griffin. The absolute beast who ran as a linebacker, I believe it was a 43840 in the 40 yard dash. And keep in mind, in this connected franchise, we're in year three, so he's already had one year in the NFL. Now, the first task is to see what team that he actually plays for so he plays for the Chiefs so he's already up to an 82 overall he's only 23 years old so still young he's still pretty I mean he's a pretty good overall and only worth 1.23 million so he's not a rookie but he should be a beast after we trade for him if it does go through we will go and check out his stats they have to be incredible for him having such a great combine god dang dude a 43840 as a linebacker, he's got to have 90 speed, and that would be insane to have on the team. But with that said, first bit of business, we have to actually get him. If you missed last episode, the players we did get, Antonio Brown, Dante Hightower, Ruben Foster, and Saquon Barkley had an incredible first episode. Spoiler alert. But with that said, let's get Shaquem Griffin. They need a quarterback. We have quarterbacks we can trade away. Another spoiler alert. We are going to try to get our starting quarterback for the regular season in today's episode as well after we get Shaquem Griffin because we're going to make it happen. They need a wide receiver. We do have wide receivers we could trade away. We signed Cordero Patterson at a free agency. They don't want him, though. I just want to see how close this is. Yeah, not they, they value him at five stars, so this is probably going to be a kind of difficult deal to make happen. But I will continue. The rookie running back, Curtis Fine. I just want to see how close this gets. Yeah, he's going to be very hard to get, boys. He's going to be very hard to get. What about one of our quarterbacks? They don't want them in terms of the green, so this is going to be a little bit harder than I thought. Right tackle, we have Jawan James, who we could potentially trade away. See, that's still in the red, dog. This is going to be hard, but he, it's going to be worth it. I had a lot of comments suggesting him, so I know it's a player you guys really want to see. So who is our current right outside linebacker? We have Kiko Alonso. Would they want him? Of course not. How about left outside linebacker? We have Koamisi and Raekwon McMillan. Don't want either of them. I don't want to trade away, trade away Juwan James if we don't have to, man, because he's one of our best offensive linemen. But we might have to. We might have to. Or maybe trade away one of the wide receivers. 
Maybe we trade away one of these wide receivers since we already have so many good wide receivers. We have four very good ones. Cordero Patterson's our fifth wide receiver, which means he probably won't play unless we trade one of these guys away. If I trade one of these guys away, that means we can use... Uh, get another trade because everybody ends up suggesting wide receivers in this series no matter how many we have That means we we'll probably could free up another spot to get a wide receiver eventually in this series So with that said, let's throw in Kenny Steals. See how close this gets. That went up quite a bit So let's go and throw in We have a ton of first round draft picks. Do we go ahead and throw one in? I guess we can throw in one of our first round draft picks Brings us up into the yellow. So now if we throw in another player, will that actually be accepted? What about one of these quarterbacks. Now nah, let's go with let's go with Marshawn Lynch. Why not? They are interested in him. That actually didn't go up that much. So instead of that first round draft pick, let's throw in a let's throw in one of the seconds and also throw in. I mean, I really don't want to trade away Jawan James because he's one of the few good offensive linemen that we have. But I mean, I guess we could end up upgrading on that right side eventually, but it still would hurt right now. So I took away the first, added in the second instead, and then threw in a player they do want. Will this be accepted? And it was accepted. Now I kind of feel like, I don't know how that just went up so much. I kind of, I expected it to be close, but I didn't actually expect it to go through. But hey, uh, I'm happy. We get Shaquem Griffin, and I know it seems like a lot, but guys, keep in mind, this guy's going to be an absolute beast. He's young, 82 overall, a guy you guys really wanted. He's valued at five stars, and it does, I mean, that is that does seem like a lot to trade away, but... He obviously was really hard to get. We did what it took to get a guy that you guys really wanted to see in this series. Now, what we will do really quick, I'm interested myself to see his stats. So, Queen Griffin is an 82 overall. He has 93 speed as an outside linebacker. That is wide receiver running back speed at the linebacker spot, which is deservedly so. I mean, if you run a 4 3 8 40, dog, you probably should actually have faster speed than that. But look at these stats, man. With quick development, which means he's going to rise up the, the overall chart super quick. Not as fast as a superstar, obviously, but still pretty quick. 93 speed, 85 tackle, 78 block shed, 78 hit power, 78 finesse, 77 power move, 71 play rec, and 85 pursuit. That is nasty. That is nasty. And our linebacker core... If I remember correctly, we upgraded it mildly last episode. So we look at our linebacker core now. We'll sw uh, swap Shaquem Griffin over to the right side. We'll have Reuben Foster, Dante Hightower, and Shaquem Griffin at the linebacker spot. And that, like, we didn't have any of those guys at the beginning. So we've already pretty much solidified our linebacker core in this series, and that's incredible. Now, boys, it is time to try and get the quarterback for the series. There was two huge suggested comments with this guy's name. 336 thumbs up and the other one had 200. We're going to try and get Deshaun Watson. He's a guy that everybody wants to see normally, but we haven't been able to get him because he's just really hard to get. With this being year number three, it might be a little bit easier to get him now. Although he's probably way up there. He's an 86, so not too bad. I was thinking maybe he'd be up to a 90, but I mean, that's still really good. But it's still probably going to be really hard to get him with him being really young and him being only worth 1 million in terms of the cap room. The good thing about getting a lot of these players that we've gotten early on that have very little cap hits is the fact that later on in the series we don't have as much to trade away. We can get the older veteran players are easier to get but worth a lot more towards the cap room but since we have so much left over at that point we'll be able to eat that cap. Now Deshaun Watson what's it gonna take? Now they need a left tackle. We have a couple guys here. They won't layer me. But I'm not, we'll, we just traded away our right tackle. We need to keep him from now. Although Dwayne Brown, he could be a filler. So if we have to trade in Larry Mink Tunsil to get Deshaun Watson, I'll try to make it happen. But it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world is that we do have Dwayne Brown to start in the meantime. Now, let's just gauge it. Let's just gauge it by throwing in Marshawn Lynch. Since they all aren't interested in Marshawn Lynch. Okay, that's, I mean, that's, I guess that's promising. It's only a two-star is what they value Marshawn Lynch at. And it still kind of went up a, a little bit. So that's halfway promising. But it probably is going to take a player that they do want. Kiko Alonso need a right side linebacker. Of course, they don't want him. They need a cornerback and a center. Cordero Tankersley, do they want him? That's unfortunate. They want Bradley Roby. He's our only good corner. I can't trade him away. So how about center? At the center position, have a young guy, two young guys. They, need, they want him. How close will this be? 
I don't know if any of the orange. This might could happen, but it's probably going to take a lot. But, I mean, it is our star quarterback for the series. And I got, like, I saw so many comments. Not just those two, but so many comments suggesting Deshaun Watson with a lot of thumbs up. Those are just the main two. So, he is probably a fan favorite who, what you, for, uh, who you guys want to see in this series. So, with that, I guess... It's going to take a lot to trade away, man, but I guess it's what it takes to bring in good players, so I probably will. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if I had to trade away Larry Mutunsel as well. So we'll send this through, and that went up into the yellow. So would a first-round draft pick be enough to bring in Deshaun Watson? Or do we just go with a second? Let's start off with a second, see how close this gets. Pretty close. I don't know, though, if a first-round draft pick will be enough. We'll go with our, our lowest-valued first-round draft pick. And it still wasn't accepted, man. So if we throw in the number one overall draft pick, will this be accepted? And it wasn't. It wasn't. So we're going to probably have to trade in Tevin Coleman. They don't even really want Tevin Coleman. They only value him in the yellow. So, dog, who, what do we do? Do we have to trade away Bradley Roby? Do we trade away Bradley Roby? We might have to. That's so close, man. That's so close. We're going to have to trade away some crazy player. We might not be able to get Deshaun Watson, which kind of sucks. Maybe we, we shed like a Dynamicon Sioux. Maybe this is what we do. Maybe, I mean, like that frees up so much space. We probably can go out and get another veteran defense tackle. This hurts, though, if this actually goes through. When that being the case, let me go with the lowest first-round draft pick and then go. I'm, tr I'm, tr I'm grasping at straws, but trying to make this happen at the same time. Let's try Larry Tunsil. Throw this in there. That got close. So maybe now if we throw in Bradley Roby, this will be accepted potentially. I don't know what to do if this doesn't get accepted, boys. I really do not know what to do. And I, I want to get my quarterback this episode, so I'm kind of kind of desperate to get Deshaun Watson. That still isn't accepted, man. So we'll go to Namicon to our first and a second. We might have to throw in two first. Still not accepted, man, but I do think two first will be accepted i'm pretty sure it will be which we have a lot of first we'll still have two first left over and i think we actually can take out the Domicon sue and potentially throw in laramie tunsil instead let's see if this will be accepted it wasn't really so how about bradley i don't know bradley roby or the Domicon sue dog i don't know i'm confused on what to do it's still not accepted come on bro the Domicon Sue with him being a 90 overall, this has got to be accepted. Completely grasping at straws. We've traded away so much, this has got to be accepted. Still not accepted, dog. What do I do? Boys, we're about to have to do some major, major finesse. And this is the only time I'm going to overpay like this for a player. We're having to do some three-way trades, man. It's the only way this is going to happen, but we need a quarterback. We've got to have a quarterback going into week one. So we traded Cole Missy, a second round draft pick, and Marshawn Lynch to the Cowboys for a 92 overall Tyron Smith. We're now going to try to put into the deal to bring in the main man, Sean Watts. I know it's a lot. I know we've overspent, man. But I guess it's sometimes what it takes to bring in good players that you guys want to see. I know he's only an 86, but hopefully he's good enough. So with that, Tyron Smith and the number one overall draft pick. Let's see how close this gets. It's in the yellow, so now if we throw in a second, let's see how close this second brings us. I want to try to avoid, try to trade away anybody else. That gets pretty close. So will Bradley Roby be enough for this deal to go through? Hopefully. Still not accepted, bro. Still not accepted. So now what about the Namikon Sue? Dog, this is taking forever. How about this? Stop, bro. I, this might be impossible. How about two first-round draft picks? This has got to be enough, bro. This has got to be enough. Dog, this is insane. I know what you're thinking. RBT, stop it. Stop it. I'm, I'm trying to do whatever. Bring it in a keep to lead for a fourth, a left tackle, and a crappy cent uh, center back. This isn't a soccer. Cornerback for a keep to lead. Now, we're going to try to use a keep to lead in the deal, trying to do whatever it takes to bring in Deshaun Watson because cornerback is one of their biggest positions of need. And if this doesn't go through, dog, I don't know what to do. I'm doing whatever. Deshaun Watson, bro, sometimes Madden trading, bro, is so wild. So Tyron Smith, Aqib Tlaib, two of our highest overall players, and a first-round draft pick. This is, okay, first of all, let me just try the second, see how close the second gets for this deal. Okay, man, the first has got to work, right? Please, dear God, I am begging you. 
bro. Why? Okay, boys, I did a little bit of trading up. I'm getting rid of Akeem Sleep since I didn't work. I got a first round draft pick out of it. Not bad. Not bad. So, I think... I think my only hope at this point is to try to get some type of 99 overall player. And that is Zach Martin. I'm going to try to get him. And then I'm going to try to use him in that deal. Just to try to have another high rated player in the deal. Submit this through. Because that's pretty close to going through. So we'll get him for relatively easy. Probably throw in a crappy player and it should be accepted. And you know, I'll probably make this deal happen. And everybody should be, uh, probably is going to say, you should just keep him. No, I go by your suggestions. And that's, <laughs> and I go by that. So with that said, oh, Zach Martin is going to be added to the deal now. And if this doesn't go through, man, I don't know what to say. So Zach Martin and Tyron Smith for Deshaun Watson is in the yellow. So if this doesn't work, man, we might have to just abort mission and go elsewhere and try to get a quarterback next episode. Submit this through. Dog, come on, bro. If this doesn't go through, I don't know what to say. This is the last thing I can do. Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, first round draft pick for Deshaun Watson. And it all, what? What? That was accepted. They don't even value a 99 Zach Martin at four stars. This just shows you once again how wild the Madden trading system is. But, dog, you just saw the lengths of what I go to to bring in two players that you guys want to see to the series. Probably not the best in terms of... Probably not the best in terms of trading for value. But in the end, we get two exciting players, nonetheless, that you guys wanted to see in the series. So, bros, with that... That took a lot, but we finally land the two players that you guys wanted to see. Now, looking at the team, so many holes we still have left to fill on the team. Offensive line completely needs a makeover, especially having to trade away our best offensive lineman to bring in Shaquem Griffin. On defense, we need some corners. Our corners are pretty lackluster, and that's probably where we need to start at in next episode. We still have four players to cut, but I'll worry about that later. We're going to jump into a preseason game just so we can see the team in a little bit of action before we jump into the regular season next episode. We're only going to play until they take out the starters because there's you guys, I'm just trying to show you guys what you guys enjoy seeing. No point in showing you guys gameplay you guys don't care about. So with that said, let's just jump into this preseason game, see a little bit of how our team is going to look like. So we have the Seahawks to a third down in seven. Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure in the preseason, the CPU, no matter what, takes your first string out at the end of the first quarter. So hopefully we can get a stop right here so you can see the first string before we get into the regular season because that would just be a waste of a gameplay. We can't even see the offense because they might run out the first quarter if they pick this up. He's scrambling. We're going to have Russell Wilson wrapped up. Reuben Foster making an impact early on as a Miami Dolphin as we are going to get the ball back and hopefully score a touchdown and what's probably going to be the only preseason possession you guys see for this series. We're going to be able to see Deshaun, going to be able to see Saquon, and going to be able to see our nice and young wide receiver. Cool. Actually, got some. I guess at this point in the series, they're more like like veterans. Antonio Brown, Jarvis Landry, they're a little bit older now. I think Antonio Brown's 32, actually, but he's still a 97 overall. He's regressing, but not too bad. Still nice to have a 97 overall player. And the reason I'm doing this is because I completely forgot to make Saquon Barkley our starter. Who He is going to be our starter, although he is a little bit lower of overall than Tevin Coleman as of now, who might end up getting traded away. So starting off, we're going to run the ball with our man. We're going to run the ball with Saquon, see if he can have a big first drive as a Miami Dolphin in the series. So handoff right here. Saquon Barkley with a little bit of a hole, and he gets wrecked. I'm not sure who that was, but Saquon got wrecked in his first carry as a Dolphin. So let's go play action and test out Deshaun Watson's arm strength. You got to try to go for some big plays so we can score. There's only three minutes left to go before they take out our first string. So Deshaun Watson drops back. Oh, we have B across the middle. Uh, uh, uh. Dog, nobody's open. Third down. The scenes if we actually go three and out. And I, like, got to I gotta figure out this playbook too, man, because I'm pretty sure I have yet to change it back to my normal playbook. So we're just rocking with the Dolphins, like, regular playbook, which I really am not familiar with. But hey, we're going to persevere, hopefully. Third and a nine, let's see if we can pick this up. Slants are open. That's Devontae Parker, who's diving after he makes the catch. But hey, we're going to hurry up so we can actually try to score a touchdown on this drive. But we are going to are gonna run once again with, I guess, Tevin Coleman. We're going to see him for the first time in this series. Run right up the gut, and we get nothing. Excitement. Fun and excitement. Let's keep the hurry up going because I want to do good things with this team. I want to be great and do the gosh dang thing. We throw this up to Antonio Brown. Nah. Gonna scramble again. Dog, run. 
X. Across the field. We need a dot. That's going to be Jarvis Landry. Good throw from Deshaun Watson. Liking what I'm seeing early on. I'm not sure if Josh Rosen would have made those throws last season as a rookie. So hopefully, um, maybe uh, Deshaun Watson will spoil us in this series. Another play action pass. We're getting pressured like ASAP. But Deshaun Watson, he's fast. Faster than Josh Rosen. He's going to scramble. Make sure we don't get any injuries. The scenes, bro. The scenes that Deshaun Watson got hurt on the first drive of the series and was out for the whole year after we just traded away the whole world to get him. Let's see if Saquon Barkley can actually break a run and do something exciting this first drive. Well, you got to remember we have an offensive line of Pringles. So now we have a third down and two. Why am I running hurry up? I don't know because I'm impatient. We only have a minute 30 left to go before they take out our first string. There's nothing I can do about it. So here, A's wide open on this slant. Nice route there from Tevin Coleman lining up in the slot. Got a burp. I'm going to try to hold it in. Self-defense. The little burp came out, but we're, we're golden. First down and sin. Going out of pistol a lot. Why? Really don't know. But I am liking what I'm seeing thus far. Receivers getting open. Nice throws from Deshaun Watson. Has nice scrambling ability. Just the running game. It's kind of been lackluster. Wide down the seam. That's Jaqueen Grant with the catch. All the way down to the two-yard line. So a strike from our new quarterback to a young receiver just like that has a first down and goal so let's see if on this first drive and it's probably going to be the last couple plays you see of the episode as they're probably about to bring in our second string see if we can get Saquon Barkley into the end zone counter ran into 17 Seahawks defenders fun I'm really liking this offensive line so uh if you're wanting to leave trade suggestions, probably go with some offensive lineman suggestion in the comments for next episode. As it looks like, that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So that sucks. There goes the first string. And I guess, in off the gameplay, might as well try to score. Yay. We have a young rookie in quarterback now. Just, I guess nobody got injured. That's a positive, at least. Nobody's open, dog. Dog, those... Both my slant patterns were, like, stuck at the line of scrimmage. What could I do? So third down and goal now. Might have to just settle for a field goal. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. Not even my first string, so I can't get XP for him. It's a preseason game, so the win doesn't matter. I guess I'm just doing it to try to look good. So third down and goal. Can we pick up the touchdown? Grant is going to be overthrown. That was Deshaun. Probably would have been a touchdown. But at this point, no point playing the game because... Second string's in. So, there's hopefully nobody gets injured here. You know, the episode. I mean, it'd be nice to get a win, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Up 6 nothing, 9 nothing. I guess we can't score touchdowns. I guess our second string is incredible on defense. Still have yet to score a touchdown. There is yet to be a touchdown in this game. Still have yet to have a touchdown in this game. Still have yet to have a touchdown in this game. Wow. A game of field goals. 15-9? to nine? Nobody scores a touchdown. Exciting excitement madden so boys that is going to do it for today's episode i'm pretty sure i just want to make sure nobody got injured so we had no big injuries throughout the preseason so we're lucky in that department but next episode will begin the regular season and things are actually going to begin to count the normal episodes we're going to do the trade at the beginning we're going to play a full game at the end so it'll probably be like 30 minute episodes from here on out so hope you guys are excited for that let's see if we can smash 2000 likes on today's episode if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on the notification bell. If you haven't, drop a trade suggestion in the comment section below if your suggestion has yet to be featured in this series thus far. And thumbs up the comments you think would be awesome for the series. With that said, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Peace.